And this question actually is relevant uh, today because we have so many spiritual paths available to us, so many spiritual teachers, and of course Vedanta says they're all valid. We can t take any path, we can walk any path and uh, reach the goal. So uh, sometimes uh, people feel like they want a spiritual life. When we begin to feel we like we want a spiritual life, we may want to explore different paths. We have uh, different paths of Christianity, of course the big paths, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism, Judaism, and within those broader uh, streams we have all kinds of uh, different practices and different teachers and it's a wonderful time when we first get interested in spiritual life to explore some of these different paths and uh, find out wh which one is right for us. Now, uh, we may find, as I did in my own life, that several paths interest us and we may begin to practice in several different paths and begin to feel the power that is flowing in those traditions, those spiritual traditions have a power that's being uh, poured through them, through the uh, teachings and spiritual practices of all the saints and sages that were in that lineage. Uh, but a time comes when we really need to choose one of them. Though in this day and age people like to say, I'm going to be a, a Sufi on Monday night and a Buddhist on Tuesday night and a Hindu on Wednesday night. That's okay as far as it goes, but if we really want to go deep, then the parable of digging the well is the, uh, just speaks to that point. Sri Ramakrishna gives this parable, a man wanted to get water, so he started digging for a well in his backyard, and at a certain point he hit a bed of sand, and he thought, this is no good, I won't get water here, let me try digging somewhere else. So he starts his well again, and he digs down maybe five, ten feet, and he hits a lot of rocks, and he thinks, I can't dig through this, I need to find another place. So he, he digs a third well, he never gets water because he's digging all these different wells in different places. So the spiritual, setting foot on the spiritual path is like digging a well. We're going to get water, we're going to get the living water of spirit if we keep digging. So I think we will ourselves know when that time comes that we need to choose to really dedicate ourselves to one path. And it's not always an easy choice because each path is so rich and offers so much and yet to divide ourselves is to uh, divide our energy and uh, we need all our energy, all our mind, all our complete dedication if we want success in spiritual life. So when we begin to sense that time then we, uh, we pray, we seek and we gradually discern which is our path and go forward, stop not till the goal is reached. Thank you. <laughs>